I do not agree with that. You that is know, not true. You know I am right. Right about what? You are not the most observant person. Okay. Remember how it took you four months to know that I needed glasses? That is not my fault. You always wore contacts whenever we went out. And I wore my glasses every time in the house. That's because I thought it was a fashion thing. You know you're the most fashionable person I know. Oh, baby. See, why I appreciate you trying to solve this with a very outdated compliment. It's still not going to change my mind. You can't blame me for trying. Mm -hmm. Wait. Is that thing on? Come on, guys, have fun now. Eh? It's one thing to eavesdrop on people's private conversation, it's another thing to record it. Ah, babe! What? It has been on since. You see the red button? Yeah, it shows it's recording. I didn't know that. Yeah, like I said, not the most observant person. Oh my god, are you going to ever let this go? Um, okay, let me see. No, I don't think so. So, guys. <clears throat> I know you're thinking, what's wrong with Cody? Why is she a mess? You know, the most elegant Cody, beautiful Cody, aka me, very elegant, very stylish, very clean, very. Uh... What was that compliment you gave me again? What compliment? Um, the one about my fashion taste. Fashion. When was this? Like fucking two seconds ago. Oh. Nope. Can't remember. You see what I'm trying to say? My own boyfriend, who I'm open with propose to me very soon, can't even remember a compliment he gave me like two seconds ago. My life is such a mess. Oh, Jesus, come and take me. Jesus, <laughs> I said that you were the most fashionable person that I know. Oh, my God, baby. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Um, do you know you don't have to feel pressurized to say things, right? You don't have to say it if you don't mean it. <laughs> I don't know why you're making a fuss about this. You just said two seconds ago that the compliment was outdated uh, babe, and... Babe, babe, babe. What is it? Um, you're taking the focus from me. I was telling the story. Really? <laughs> oh, yes. Go on. Yeah, so it all started Thursday morning. <laughs> Jesus! What is it? Are you okay? I'm fine. There's something off about you this morning. I don't understand. What do you mean? You look pale. Pale? Are you sure you do not have a fever? I, I don't have a fever. I feel okay. <laughs> so wait, are you trying to say that you've never seen me without makeup on? <laughs> How do you say something like that? What do you mean I've never seen you without makeup? Even before we started living together, there are days that you have come over and slept. I've seen you sleep without makeup and I've seen you wake up without makeup. Well, not really. Okay, see, I have a little ritual that I do every day. Um, I just thought of how I'm always going to be here now, so it's just going to be stressful. I kind of stopped it. What, what ritual are you talking about? Okay, since you ask, if you want to you know. So sweet, how you look beautiful before we go to bed and you wake up looking so perfect. 
Oh, you've been so sweet this morning. I love you. I love you too. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's ridiculous. You mean you've been doing that for seven months? I just did it the first month of our relationship and I kind of panicked, so I just continued doing it. Oh my god. But nobody asked you to. You said what? I just mean nobody asked you to and now you seem very unnecessary. Oh, so you mean that all my efforts to look really beautiful for you were totally unnecessary and a waste of my time? I just mean that no one asked you to do that. Okay, oh yeah, nobody asked me to do that. So those times that we go out to, I should take permission from you first before putting makeup on my face. I just meant that. I don't care what you meant. I want an apology, not just for me, but for women around the world who are apparently, according to you, have to ask their man's permission before putting makeup on their face. Women across the world? Yes. How did we go from my bedroom to the world? <laughs> See, I didn't do anything wrong. I'm not apologizing. Oh, okay. If that's how you want it. Um, this is how it's going to be. I'm not going to put on makeup or style my hair nicely until you apologize. <laughs> <laughs> it's very funny. She has said she told me to style her hair and wear makeup. How is that going to affect me? Oh, um, no sex. Oops. So toss ends the tale of my boyfriend telling me that I'm wasting my time, my efforts, and my money on looking extra beautiful for him. I am sorry. Oh, sorry, you said what? I said that I am sorry for making you feel like your efforts and the sacrifice that you put into this relationship is unnecessary. Oh, baby. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go put on makeup on my face. I'll be back in a second. <laughs> All right. <sighs> I know what you're all thinking. You probably did it because of the sex. And she was coming into the room for four nights with sexy nightgowns, and for four nights I couldn't touch her. Well, you're right. You can judge me, but that's your business. <laughs> Back. Ah, that was fast. <laughs> what was fast? The whole makeup and dress up thing. Okay, so are you saying because I took less time to do it, I didn't do it well? I'm just saying that, you know, unlike other people, you... You know what? <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry for what? For whatever stupid thing I was going to say. Uh, I didn't ask you to apologize. I know, I just felt like apologizing. Oh, baby. You're so cute. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. <laughs> yes, uh... I know. I also said you're cute. <sighs> I can't apologize Cause my fairy tale is you and me, baby, for a night So I can't fantasize Cause I want you by my side when I stop dreaming